Well, what's up, Bollywood Warriors, and uh, welcome back to another video, uh, another vlog. I've actually got a very quick one for you today. Um, I've kind of been super busy renovating, finishing this uh, the flat that I've kind of talked about previously in some videos, hence the, the messy t shirt. But I thought there was a good thing to talk about in relation to a tool that I've been using during my injury rehab, and, and that is this mystery device. It's not really anything special, it's not really anything fancy, it's actually just very simply a travel luggage wear, it's just a digital travel luggage wear. Usually you'd put this through your hand luggage, you'd lift up, you see how much it weighs. But how is this useful for injury rehab? So I'm not gonna lie, I didn't make this one up. When I went to see a physio for the infrastructure injury I had probably about two months ago now, which by the way is healing nicely and I'm gonna make a, a sort of vloggy video talking about through kind of the steps that I went through for my rehab. Just, you know, just in case anyone's out there and you find that interesting, I can ask loads. Now, generally speaking, when you go to a physio, you'll get assessed and, and much of those assessments are something called manual muscle testing. So the physio will put you in different positions, whatever it is, whatever the position is for the shoulder, and then he'll get you to resist against his hand or try to push your arm down, for instance, like this, try in different hand positions. There's loads of different tests that you can do, but essentially all of they're trying to see is, is one arm stronger than the other? Do you get pain when you do these movements? All of these sort of things. The physio that I went to see, we did the same test, but we did them with this and a really interesting number came out. We did a lying external rotation test. So that would be me lying on the ground like this position. And I'm gonna try and externally rotate with this arm. So I'm gonna try and pull outwards, resist against the travel luggage sweats, weigher, and then try to find, okay, how much can I pull with my good arm? How much can I pull with the injured arm? And it turns out that I managed to provide a force of 12 kilos with my good arm and my injured arm was three kilos. That's quite a big difference. So this isn't particularly unusual. When you get an injury, your body isn't stupid about it. It understands that an, injury, an area is impaired and it actually inhibits your ability to produce force in the area as a protective mechanism. This also actually occurs if you have a weak link in your structure, your own, your body is always going to inhibit itself to be able to produce, produce force that that weak link can manage, which is where some accessory movements are important for all sorts of training. But that's kind of another point. But because this put a number on that, that ability, that effort, it was something that I could track and measure in terms of my injury rehab process, which is arguably one of the hardest things when it comes to dealing with an injury. It's understanding where you are in that time frame of recovery. So the advice I was given was to use basically this setup in the same sort of way. So, you know, I'm testing this external rotation with the hand by the side. So about eight kilos of that hand. And I'm at 7.2 kilos on the left arm. So, in terms of my ratios, actually, my strength right now, in terms of comparatively between size, is basically 90% of the good side. That's a great sign, that's a great way to measure it in rehab. Again, right at the beginning, it was about 25% of that, and it has been gradually building up pretty consistently. Obviously, there's some ups and downs on the way, as there is with any injury rehab process. It just, it just helps you to put a number on things. Because when it injuries, there's often quite a big psychological element to an injury. It's not just about that physical recovery, it's also about being realistic of how long injuries are gonna to take to recover and also understanding where you are at in that journey so you know when you need to be taking it easy and then when you can actually start pushing yourself a little bit more. One of the biggest things that happens with injuries is you get re-injured and that's the worst thing that can happen usually because something feels good but people push it too early. So even though now, according to this, we're about a 90% ratio in terms of my, my ability to produce force in that area. I would say now is probably the first time that I'm really doing more advanced movements. And even when I say more advanced, like I did my first dips for the first time in like three months uh, about last week. You know, I did my first chin-ups maybe three weeks ago. So <laughs> it's been a slow process and it's been very frustrating, but certainly this has helped ease some of that frustrations and just help put a number on things so I know where I'm at with my recovery. But that's basically it. As I said, quick one today. So I want to explain that one to you. I think it's a really valuable one if you are injured, if you're struggling, or if maybe you can even use this as a training tool. You can measure different joint angles and, 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 and differences between sides and potentially see 
Are you missing some strength in some certain areas? By the way, wouldn't expect everyone to be 100% symmetrical, like we're humans, we're gonna be biased to right or left side, that's human nature. But you know, if you see a 50% difference, maybe that's something worth addressing. Um, as always guys, please join the conversation, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this particular one, if you have any questions or any recommendations, uh, and anything else you'd like to see as well in these videos. If you just enjoyed this one, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is also that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a strong week and peace.